Hey, did you hear the great news today? Fans are coming back to the Wyndham Championship. 15,000 of them every day of the tournament in August. WFMY News 2's Alma McCarty found out what the influx of fans means for a local business. This is a big deal for the city of Greensboro and the surrounding area. The president of the Greensboro Convention and Visitors Bureau tells me it's at the top of the resume for events held in our area. And after a blur of a year that was 2020, 15,000 spectators a day will be a welcome sight. Cities and towns across the triad still readjusting. We miss life. We missed fun. We missed seeing our clients. After what's been a long year. It wasn't just about the finances. It was about relationships that had to be put on hold. At Sidwell's in Jamestown, Stephanie Mason says it's starting to pick back up with takeout orders and catering. The option to dine in coming soon. Tuesday's announcement of the Wyndham Championship returning with fans in a couple months, certainly something to celebrate. If they're hungry, bring their appetites. We pride ourselves on having premium comfort food. Over the years, we had developed a really good clientele base with individuals who live close to the golf course. So many of them actually had homes right on the golf course and would call and order lots of food because they were doing parties at their homes. It's going to feel for the most part like it's back fully open. Henry Fourier, head of the Greensboro Convention and Visitors Bureau, says he expects the number of fans to grow. Right now, 15,000 can attend. It's a moving target, kind of. In addition to more spectators and more money invested locally, Fourier says it's another chance for the triad to take the main stage. The biggest assets that I think people overlook is the national television exposure that we get for four days. You know, they're, they're talking about Greensboro. It's great, great publicity for us. Another event added to the calendar, another step in the right direction. In Guilford County, Alma McCarty, WFMY News 2.